I guess my first clue should have been her online profile. I thought maybe she just liked hats. I mean, most women love their hair. They'd rather spend $300 on a blowout than pay their electric bill. But when you got snakes for hair, you gotta cover that shit up, you know? You wear a hat. But, I don't know how much more of this abuse I can take. I mean, do you know what it's like to wake up every morning covered in snake bites? Always being accused of lying because I refuse to make eye contact? But what can I do? Medusa's my everything. Thank you for your bravery, Zeke. We all know how you've been suffering. So, we chipped in and got you a new first aid kit. Now I'd like to introduce the group to somebody new. Why doesn't everyone introduce themselves to Bart here? Hey, hello everybody. Hey, I'm Shelby and I'm from Black Lagoon, North Carolina. In case you wonder why I smell like the swamp. <coughs> Shrek lover. Fuck you, Travis. John here. Um, my girlfriend, Gina, never has dinner waiting for me when I get home because she's always up on the goddamn roof. Sometimes I just wish she would think of me for once and instead of just being a gargoyle all the time. The struggles of loving the otherworldly are real, John. We hear you. We hear you. Well, I'm Travis, and when I met my husband, I thought that all my wishes were gonna come true. But nobody tells you that when you marry a genie that you're not allowed to use any of the wishes on them. Not even for a bigger dick. You could get a divorce. He needs a green card, jerk. Stop being so anti-immigrant. Hi, I'm Merle Griffin the third, but I'm not a griffin. <laughs> yeah, I met my little lady while snorkeling off the Keys. She's of the merfolk persuasion. Check out that fine piece of tail, hmm? Mm -hmm. That's the ugliest mermaid I've ever seen. Was that a dolphin? Well, she told me she was a mermaid. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Bart, obviously, and I've been seeing the same woman for about three years or so. And we've gotten pretty serious. Until recently, well, she's sort of changed. Mm. And, um. Werewolf? No, I'm dating a vampire. Oh, oh, hell no. Dude, you're screwed. I think it's great that you guys are all in love with your monsters, but Monique, she was human when we first met. At some point, I think she felt terrible about her aging and found some guy to turn her. I mean, that's cheating, right? No, no fucking, no foul. That's always been my rule. She's got icy cold skin. How do you Netflix and chill with a soulless corpse. I could not let a vampire go down on me. I make Medusa tie those hissers back. Hey, I need help. I, I don't have any experience breaking up with the supernatural. My man, you gotta stand your ground and just tell her you gotta go your separate ways. And that, if that doesn't work, you see like a fuck ton of garlic, and right when you're getting close to have her go down on you, and when you're ready, just like grab hold of her head and just hold her down, let it go. The old funky spunk technique. I know it well. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. You know, I swear, by this time tomorrow, I'm gonna be a free man. Hell yeah. Uh, I just can't take the chance I might catch something from you. I'm a vampire, not an STD. Besides, you can't become a vampire unless we swap blood. This will end one way or another. Look, I wanted someone to grow old with, Monique. You made your choice and it wasn't me. This is because of the weight that I've put on, isn't it? You know my tendency to binge drink when I'm feeling ignored. I didn't stop seeing you. I got a day job. You're a creature of the night. You never wanted this to work. We're just different people now, Monique. You're not even people. I'm a vegetarian and you do what you do. I hate flying and you're half bat? That's an offensive stereotype. Either way, it's time we started seeing other people. Like our waitress, I've seen the way you've been looking at her. It's over, Monique. I have we. Not... 
Breaking up, darling. I gotta pee. I'm not feeling very good. Are you sure there's anything else I can get for you? Actually... She ate her fucking waitress! Man, she keeps fucking calling! I, I get, took back my invitation to my house, but she just keeps fucking calling! Hold on, hold on, just a second. Someone's calling. Hey, man. What? What? Stop fucking calling me, you psycho undead bitch! <sighs> Guys, we need a plan B. Well, I always knew I'd see you again, just didn't know where. I'll give you one more chance to take all of this back. God damn it, Bart. I've called you 50 times in the last hour, and if I have to call 51, I'm going over to your sister's house, and I will slaughter their entire family. I love you. I was hangry. Listen, Monique, I've tried to do this the gentlemanly way, but I, all the stalking, all the violent mood swings, and your vanity, I can't take it anymore. And now you've threatened my family? Huh. Well, I will make you disappear!